Well, this is our last night there in Wilcox. Uh, one thing about traveling during a pandemic, there ain't very many other people there. There was only one other guy there, and I think he was staying there full time. Uh, that's him over there to the right. The next day we got up early and left at about 10.30 or so, and off we go. 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 Well, we're headed to Las Cruces. Uh, we're having to film with the, the old uh, telephone because I forgot to take the chip out of the computer last night when I downloaded all the stuff off of it. So the good camera, we'll, have to pick, we'll, we'll get her going. But anyway, that's what we're filming now, so it's going to be a little wiggly. This road is terrible. We're on uh, Interstate 10, headed to Las Cruces. Uh, we're not not very far to go, do we? I think it was 200 miles, about 200 miles, and uh, we're going to stay there just one night, killing time to get up there. But uh, take a look at the terrain here. This is totally different than uh, uh, the last uh, film you see. As we travel, naturally the terrain is going to. Uh, do we want to go to Fort Bowie? I don't know how far that is. I don't see it close, so I guess we won't go to Fort Bowie. We're looking them for things to do, and uh, I just wanted to show you the terrain and tell you what uh, we, in the place we stayed at at uh, Fort Wilcox. Fort Wilcox. Never did find a fort. Did you see a fort? <laughs> I didn't see one. So I don't know what that was all about, but we stayed there and got out of there early at uh, about 10.30, so we left there. No hurry, going down the road, that's uh, about it. Oh, look at the fog, smog, smog, dust. Yeah. They said the limited visibility because of the dust, and man, there's a lot of dust. I don't know if you can see it. Give it a shot out there, and then we'll call that, uh, call that a film, guys. Glad well, this is the beginning of the next film. As you see, we're well, going down Interstate 10. You're going to see signs for Continental Divide, historical trading post, pottery, jewelry, all kinds of souvenirs. Well, here it is. Tell you what, guys, if we didn't have to pull over and stretch our legs, uh, uh, don't stop here. I don't see no reason to stop here. I don't even, I think it's open, but we ain't going to go in, not during the virus. It ain't worth it. Hank did his pee in there, and uh, we're going to get back on the freeway and keep on going down the road. But don't stop and see. I mean, they got billboards. Must have 10 of them or 20 of them down the road, big ones. Stop here. It's got all this. It's got all that. Well, there it is. Now you've seen it. Don't put this on your bucket list. All right, we're coming up to Deming here pretty soon. Hey, the other day, uh, well, in our first video, I put a picture of different places we were going to go. Well, you did see why. Remember, it started out with why. And then there was a picture of a fellow on there. His name was... Benson in the TV show. So, we were going to stay at Benson. Well, we didn't stay at Benson. Why didn't we stay there? Too many trains. Too much noise. Yeah, uh, there was a train. From the trains. Train station. That was a major hub for the uh, trans train thing that everybody shoots across on. That was a main hub there for everything. So it was going to be noisy and we talked to... Uh, American oh, for uh, Amtrak. Amtrak, that's what it was. And uh, we didn't stay there because of that, because American uh, RV Nomads, he said we they stayed there and it was noisy. They had the whistle went off every hour. Somebody in a train was shooting through there. So we didn't stay there. So you didn't get to see Benson. It was on the other side of the thing. We drove right on by it. You had to get off the freeway. Now 
remember the next picture? It was Demi Moore. Well, uh, that's because we were going to uh, stay in Benson. Then we were going to drive up here and stay in Deming, New Mexico. Get it? Deming Moore and Deming, New Mexico. You see where we're going with these pictures, guys. Aren't I funny? You kill me. <laughs> I'm killing you. Yeah. Anyway, well, we're not going to stay at Deming now because we didn't stay at Benson's because we got we want to go so far. We're going to go to Las Cruces. I might have mentioned that in the last earlier video of that place we stopped. What they call that? The greatest Divide? Something. <laughs> The place that wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Continental Divide. Continental Divide. Big hoopa on that thing. Well, it uh, wasn't a big hoopa. It was uh, nothing there. You've seen that in the video. What's that guy's trailer doing? That guy's trailer is going crooked. And there's another guy here, so I can't get around him. Whoa. Yeah, too bad we ain't got the... GoPro on this guy. This guy's got some, got some problems. Yeah. Got a car trailer right here. He's got his flashers on, so he knows he's got a problem. But the trailer is going sideways behind him. It looks like an axle is, is spinning oh, or something. He's, he's having a heck of a time. But we see him in the mirror there. We're around him. We're good to go. He's doing a good job driving his truck. Yeah. But we're passing Deming right now. We're not going to go there. We're just going to go in there and get some fuel. But we still uh, haven't even... The gas fuel gauge hasn't moved yet. We're still working on the auxiliary tank. It holds 70 gallons, so we haven't used enough. And one thing about the, the gas tanks in the back of your trucks, for you that don't know, you fill them things up in the, when it's cool and the sunlight hits them, the... Fuel will expand greatly, and we've lost a lot of fuel that way. Filling up and it turns to be a 100 degree day, that, that fuel will just pump out on the ground. So anyway, we're passing Demi now, and we're going to head on down to, uh, I don't see much down there to see. The fuel prices, we were going to get fuel here, but the fuel prices are not that much cheaper than uh, Las Cruces, where we're going. So we're going to go there, fill up. And then we're going to see something in Las Cruces we've never seen before. Or have we? What is it, Vicky? Tell them with great enthusiasm. Why should we tell them? We should keep it a surprise. Oh, yeah. We're going to keep it a surprise, guys. So don't, don't quit watching right now. It'll be on here pretty soon. You're tricky, Vicky. to Las Cruces and we seen this sign so we hurried up to get here because Barnett's Las Cruces Harley Davidson we wanted to buy a sticker but like everything else in New Mexico it's closed but the service department is still open guys so if you're riding around here and you got your bike broke down I'm hoping that all Harley Davidson shops are doing that but no sticker from these guys, no shopping. And uh, I didn't get within 11 feet of the guy that told me it was closed. Even the service department closed at, uh, I think, 4 o'clock. We got here at 4.02. So that's it from Barnett's <sighs> Las Cruces Harley Davidson. Well, it's a big chili. Go there and stand by so they can see how big the chili is. You don't want to stand by the big chili? Not really. Oh, come on. It's a big chili. Uh, everything is... I get away from that pickup. You ain't even going to hear me over that pickup. Yeah, that's a big chili. Everything is closed here in town. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> they probably couldn't hear me over there next to my pickup. But this big chili is a big chili inn. Another one of the 
finer motels in uh, Las Cruces. Well, we're going to go film where we're staying, put that on the back of here, maybe give you some uh, map directions and such. But uh, the, we got to go find some fuel now. I'm going to top off here, I think. Yep, that's Interstate 10 right there. I don't know if you can read that sign there, but it's... Oh, well, let me get it so you can. A lot of birds around here. I can't even read it. Coach Light. Oh, well, there it is there, too. Hey, it's Coach Light Motel and RV is where we're staying today. So, uh... We're not really impressed. I mean, we've, we've noticed that uh, uh, we're supposed to be uh, getting 50% off with our discount. And we still had to pay 30 bucks here. So that means this place, you'd have to spend 60 bucks to camp in this place back here that I'm going to show you. But you can kind of see what the motel looks like. A little on the rundown sign. We got some expensive campers back in here. RVs, uh, fifth wheel, motorhomes and such. Let me get a little closer than film. Yeah, there's some nice ones in here. Uh, I think some of these people stay in here uh, full time. Uh, here's our spot on the end. So, hey, we tried our best today. We couldn't find nothing to show you. Everything was closed, as you can see. Uh, a lot of things we didn't even film. Uh, wasn't worth the effort. Uh, anyway, we are going to this place next. I'm going to put a picture right here, and then you figure out where we're going to be staying tomorrow night. I'm going to go get some air conditioning. Thanks for following, guys. You know what to do. Subscribe. And leave in the message. Give me a thumbs up. The whole bit. Uh-oh. Vicky just fell down. <laughs> I better see what's going on in the house. Probably playing with Hank.